Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode, Dances with Smurfs. Let's do this. Good morning, South Park Elementary. These are the morning announcements. Parent-teacher conferences begin next Thursday. If you have not yet done so, please turn in your parents' requested timesheets by the end of the fifth period today. Lunch today will be a choice of chicken tostadas or spaghetti with a marinara sauce and side salad. As an elementary school student, that's what you want to know is what you're having for lunch. When is pizza day? Any interested student should fill out a... Whoa, what's going on? Who are you? Oh, I'm the man no. who's going to put a bullet between your eyes! Hey, he's got a gun! You little bastard! You fucked my wife! No, he didn't. All right, what the hell is going on here? You, sir, need to leave this area. Oh, oh God, he shot him! You had to push me, didn't you? Sir, I truly don't know. Did you shoot him too? I don't know you! You're Gordon Saltsky, right? Truck driver from Chicago? No, I'm Gordon Stoltzky, third grader who reads the morning announcements. Yeah, right. We'll see if that's true. Go on, read the morning announcements. Somebody help me! I said do it! Help me. Ah! 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 Any, any interested students should fill out an applicant survey! Ah! Ah! I knew you were lying! That was terrible! Now put your mouth over the barrel of this gun! No, please! I'm so scared! That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the shooting. Okay? I'm laughing at the over the top voice acting. Look at you now. Oh, dead. Oh, Gordon. My dad says each one of my freckles is a kiss from an angel. We will always remember the way that Gordon bravely read the announcements every morning. And although Gordon Stoltzky can never be replaced, okay, there must be a student out there who has the drive and the passion to have his or her voice heard every morning. Oh my god. Not him. Not him. Who is that kid? Yo, oh, you're uh, trying out to be the morning announcement person as well? Yeah, I think it would be really f f f fun and root root root. Raise my self esteem. Stop. Mac, why don't we have you try out first? <laughs> <laughs> he stutters like a bitch. I've got this job in the bag. Who are you? My name is Casey Miller, and I'm huh? in the third grade. <laughs> Ever since I can remember, nice people have told me I should read the morning announcements. My friends always said to me, Dear Casey, your voice is like butter to our ears. That Dear Casey line? Casey Kasem? He writes, Dear Casey, I have a special dedication. Could you please find a way to get that audible chocolate on the airwaves? <laughs> well, here I am. He's good. Okay, really nice, Mike. Uh, maybe next time you can get past the first word. Oh, Casey oh, Miller, good. Mike. You're trying out too? I'm trying out and drying out in the sultry summer sun that is my voice. Since is the threat. <laughs> Mr. Mackey, what's a moronic jizz rag? What? What on earth are you asking me that for? Well, it's just that... That's what that Casey kid said about your hairpiece? Get lost, you little oh. dirtball! Excuse me? I said That's take a hack! Up. I don't understand what I did wrong. Beat it, you're not getting the job! <laughs> you can't give Cartman a chance to manipulate a situation because he will turn the tide in his favor. For lunch today, the cafeteria will the be serving tide. a selection of cold sandwiches. Oh, well, thank you so much. Remember when we used to be served hot food? I mean, what has happened to our skew? This school is transforming into something very bad. And why? Because we have leadership that doesn't care. Ever since Wendy was elected student body president, this school has started a rapid decline towards some socialist regime where students no longer have a voice. He's throwing shade. The music room will be closed off today due to painting. How old and outdated is our playground equipment? What other school has a 15-year-old merry-go-round on it? <laughs> our school president is turning this whole place into communist Russia. It's not a coincidence that once Wendy took office, this school started <laughs> coming apart asleep. at the seams. Your teachers don't want to tell you, but they are scared, and they should be, because the very fabric of this elementary school is tearing from all corners. Because I'm brave enough to ask questions, I come under scrutinies. Is Wendy using your lunch money to buy heroin? Probably not. 
But how can we know? <laughs> I don't want my lunch money going to drugs. Who's taking these drugs? What would be the point? I'm asking questions. Will somebody shut him up? Right? The job is to read what is written on the paper, Eric, not to embellish yes. the way you do. The announcements need to be quick so the students can get on with their work. Oh, exactly. really? Exactly. Then how come Gordon Stosky got to go on for like five minutes that one day? Well, because he was being murdered. I am not Gordon Stosky, okay? I'm not some dog on a leash that just blindly says what he's told until he's killed. Maybe I'll also have a word with the ACLU. Tell them that a student is being told not to speak out against his skew. I'm sure they'll find that very interesting. Oh, man. Got his way again. Yeah. Well. Good morning, South Park Elementary. I have a question. What does Wendy Testerberger actually do? She is supposed to be the president, right? What is her agenda? She's lying to everyone, or is she? Let's ask these questions. Today I want to talk briefly about the state of our school's economy. The bake sale last week was a complete failure. It's not going to stop. Who actually voted for Wendy Testerberger? I know I didn't. And everyone who did is now scratching their heads and going, whoops. Guess I shouldn't have done that. I'm just a normal kid like all of you. And like all of you, I want to know what has happened to my ski. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Our United States, not the one Wendy Testerberger would have, a socialist dunghole. A socialist dunghole. <laughs> Good morning, students. These are the morning announcements. If you'll direct your attention to the new video monitors at the head of your class, you will see that the announcements are now being done in video. Give oh, that God. boy an itch. No. He'll take a mile. Today is going to be pizza. Again. <sighs> Friends, our school is dying and you know it. You feel it. And I don't know if we can get it back. Let's take a look at exactly what our school president wants. You know, what is she trying to achieve? So what's happening? Well, let's look at some of the things that don't make sense. Socialist, modern, utopian, reformed farce of a skew. So when you Smurfs. look closely, it becomes very <laughs> obvious what Wendy wants. Our school president wants to kill Smurfs. Kill Smurfs. No! But unless you ask why, we're going to transform into something. All I do is try to help run student council. I don't give a crap about Smurfs. It is true. Oh, my God. Yeah, better than it. Oh, my God. Maybe you guys should check into what student council actually does before you just blindly listen to what some idiot with a microphone tells you. Yeah. What did the Smurfs ever do to you, you bitch? I just called the president a bitch. Yeah. That was cool. Awesome. Yeah, that was yeah, great. And yeah. he's already impressionable. Now you can read about all these things I've said, Butters. Take this copy of my book. Cool, thanks. That'll be $5. Oh, okay. Just gotta make his money. What the hell do you think you're doing? I looked through your stupid book. It's 540 pages of ripping on Wendy and calling her a slut. I do not directly say she's a slut. Wendy Testerberger has proven time and time again that she will do anything to pleasure her vagina. Whether it is the school football team or the janitors on their break, Wendy spends her time as president on her knees or on her back taking the old in out for hours on end. Uh, no time for the old in and out love. You didn't read the rest, dude. Or does or she? Or does she? You know what that sort of reminds me of? How people use the word allegedly nowadays online, right? It's almost like you say everything in the book to attach guilt to this person, but then you accent it with this little allegedly to give yourself a bail. Do some of these people end up being guilty of these crimes? Yes, but not always. See, that's a question. I'm asking questions, Dad. I've called for Wendy to come on my show and defend herself, but she won't do it. Yeah, and she either. hates Smurfs. Shouldn't we be worried if our school president is a girl who would rather get her tits licked than go to student council meetings? <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, just because a guy's voice is on the intercom and his words are in a book doesn't mean he has any idea what he's talking about. That's, That's true. Does. We should all ask if our president is a penis-hungry hooker with a huge vagina. Wendy, did you see the stuff Carmen is saying about you now? I really don't care, Sam. Well, don't you think you should go on a show and defend yourself? Everyone's starting to think you're a crappy president. I'm not giving Eric Fartman one minute of my time, you got that? I'm not acknowledging his stupid questions. If you want him dealt with, you'll have to do it yourself. So what, because she's president, she can't be written about? Eric, apparently you wrote that Wendy's private parts are big enough to fly an airplane through. <laughs> and what if they are? <laughs> you'll stop me from asking just because Wendy forces you to? Eric, the student body president really doesn't have the kind of power that just you- Just enough power to force you to stop me from selling my book. Face it, you're a lackey, Mackie. You cannot and you will not sell your books on school grounds. Do I make myself clear? Clear as summer rain. Clear as a flavorless bottle of vitamin water. 
This school is finally transformed into the socialist whoreland where a student isn't free. I'm leaving this hypocritical communist school. I will not be silenced. You will all regret this moment. <laughs> I'm walking out. I'm never coming back. Just go. Yesterday, as most of you know, I walked out on this program and on our school. I wanted to live in a place where my values were still upheld. And so I decided to leave it all behind and instead go and live with the Smurfs. Oh, I simply observed the gentle nice. Smurfs at first. It wasn't long before the gentle Smurfs accepted me as one of their own. Cut it out. They shared with me their Smurf artist Smurf berries. And I shared with them stories of my country's forefathers. Of course, it wasn't long before I fell in love with Smurfette. We were from two different worlds, and yet we spoke the common language of passion. Wasn't the original Smurfette evil? I will send them a Smurfette! She would have been perfect for Cartman. These are the morning announcements. <laughs> Papa Smurf was displeased at first, but I eventually proved myself to Papa Smurf by picking more Smurf berries than any Smurf had ever Smurfed before. Finally, all was right with the world. But then, this is great. the crisis. Clumsy Smurf burst into the Smurf ceremony to say that humans had come to destroy all of Smurfland. Out of my way! Wendy, what are you doing here? <laughs> Smurf berries are worth a lot of money! With all those Smurf berries, the acting. the skew for the entire year! Wendy, I know you're president of our skew, but you can't just dig up the Smurf's land! Fuck the Smurfs! They can suck my fat tits! <laughs> you can suck my fat tits, too! The story he's spinning. Oh, Smurfette! Smurfette, no! And so now our school has plenty of precious, unobtainable Smurf berries. At what cost did our school president get it? Every Smurf is dead. Wiped out and we will never see them again. Go on, look outside. You won't see any Smurfs. Because <laughs> they don't exist. Of course, since I'm being silenced, I'm not allowed time to show you the entire movie. And so please buy Dances with Smurfs available now on DVD. The question now is what happened to morals? What happened to dignity? What happened to my ski? I don't know about all of you, but I have had enough. We've been sitting back and watching as our school slowly goes into the toilet. Are they wearing Cartman t-shirts? Don't follow Cartman. Let's march right over there to Wendy's house and do what we know needs to be done. Yeah! 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 Where are his parents at? Because you know they wouldn't let that happen. Well, you better stop having nightmares or else you're going to be grounded. Yeah, yeah, sure. We are here, Wendy Testaboogoo! Butters. Hey, what are you doing? The students right? want answers! Go on the morning announcements if you've got nothing to hide! What the hell? Well... <laughs> Just pee on our door because the Smurfs were murdered. It's okay, Dad. I'll take care of it. Thank you so much for finally coming on my show, Wendy. Yeah, the well, Buddy's peed on my house. People are riled up. Hopefully, so we can clear the air here this morning. My guest today is the student body president of South Park Elementary, Wendy Testerberger. Wendy, thank you for coming on the show. Sure. Wendy, I want to start by asking a pretty straightforward question, and I hope you don't take offense to it. How many Smurf berries is the life of each Smurf worth? She doesn't I know. Don't, I... You don't know how many Smurf berries the life of each Smurf is worth. Oh, he's got her now! Would you agree that the school is in a crisis right now? I believe there is a few things wrong with this school, but... If a Smurf dies and no one is around to hear it, does it still scream? <laughs> She's speechless! You are the president of the school. Can you see why many students think you're an ineffective slut? Are you denying that the Smurf Holocaust ever happened? Is that what you're suggesting? The Smurf berries were our school government's only option. Yes, and that makes... Whoa, whoa, what? What was I supposed to do? The school was running out of power. We tried relocating the Smurfs at first, but they wouldn't budge. So we decided to get somebody on the She's inside. Smart. A member of the school who could act like one of the Smurfs and learn their secrets. But of course, you know that, don't you? What, what do you mean I know that? Nobody expected you to fall in love with Smurfette. You went to learn from them, but instead you became one of them, right? Fought against your own kind when you knew we'd stop at nothing. Do you know that one Smurfberry can power the school for two months? One Smurfberry! Wait, hold on, can we take a break? She no, spun it's her okay. own story. It's all out in the open now. I wouldn't have had to kill the Smurfs if they would have simply moved on. But you gave them the will to stay. I am stepping down. 
You were right all along, Cartman. And I am hereby making you the student body president. All right, Cartman's president. That's not what he wanted, though. We did it. I'm confused. Dude, you can't take my Dances with Smurfs idea and turn it into your own no, thing. No, you're right. The students all deserve to know the truth. And so I have answered what really happened in my new book, Going Rogue on the Smurfs. No, no, <laughs> dude. You don't just take one person's story and then add a couple things and call it yours. Luckily, with the money I made selling the movie rights to my book, I'll be okay. You sold the movie rights to who? James Cameron. Go look, the movie came out already. They, they can't do that. I'm student uh, body Okay, president. okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> yep. Oh, God damn it! You sons of bitches! Dances with Smurfs was my idea! My idea! You, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you can't just take Dances with Smurfs and call it something else! How's that saying go? Good artists borrow, great artists steal? <laughs> You're not doing the morning announcements anymore? No, because it turns out that by rule, the student body president can't also be the morning announcement reader. Oh well, at least as president you can run the school the way you want. I can't do jack! I went to my first student council meeting, all we did was talk about what colors to make the stupid Sadie Hawkins dance! I'm Casey Miller, and these are the morning announcements. He should have had it in the first place. Dear Casey, why is our school president such a fat stupid dickhead? My desk is broken, <laughs> and so far Eric Cartman has done nothing about it. Will you please let that walking bowl of anus pus know that we are not happy? <laughs> well, Brian, I couldn't agree more. Our asshole president is a fat, smelly douchebag milkshake. I'm doing the best I can! <laughs> Can't even take a little bit. I really enjoyed that episode because it was funny. Poor Gordon. And um, I love seeing Wendy outsmart Cartman because there are very few characters in South Park who can get the best of Cartman, but she can. And the Smurf references hit me just right because I loved watching the cartoon and I love me some Smurf gummies. Oh my God. Thank you so much for recommending this episode. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.